Coach Curry, uh, can we get your thoughts on the past two midweek games? Sure. Um, learned a lot. Learned a lot. Uh, like I talked about last time on Tuesday, uh, we got to show up ready to play, especially after we go on the road in what was an emotional series. Uh, get home late, which is no excuse. Everybody gets home late on the bus. That's college baseball. Um, and then after an off day, coming out ready to go. They had a home run, first pitch, punched us in the nose, and it's almost like we were backpedaling from there. And I think we got frustrated offensively, tried to do a little more and do a little more, and that works against you versus getting a runner on base, scratching for one, scratching for two. Um, and then we bled out runs in ones and twos, and they pushed it out to, to 11 and uh, got it to where it was unreachable for us. Uh, went out of Pine Bluff yesterday, and I, I cannot overstate the pitching staff. Uh, we scripted it out for McKnight and uh, Stubber and Weatherly, kind of a 3-3-3, and that's basically what it ended with, with Stubber, I think, going into his fourth inning. Uh, we, we wanted my, McKnight to be the opener and get us off to a good start. He got a couple double plays to end the second and the third and held him down. We knew it was going to be a dogfight. Carlos James does such a great job coaching down there and getting those guys ready to play. Uh, and it's hard to win at their place. They do a really good job defending their home field. Stubber was outstanding there in the middle of holding it down. And we were able to piece together a run here and one early, one middle, one late. And then you hand the ball to Weatherly and uh, they pinch hit their best hitter who's probably uh, an everyday hitter for anybody's lineup. And, uh, and he was able to get the strikeout. So um, good to handle our first double midweek, one on the road, one at home. Didn't go perfect, uh, but I liked how we bounced back on Wednesday after a very, very tough day on Tuesday. And then looking ahead at this weekend, uh, got Northwestern State, yeah. spent some time coaching there. Yeah. Uh, what can we expect and what are your thoughts on uh, heading into this weekend? Well, first of all, Natchitoches, uh, Northwestern State, what, what a great memory for my family, uh, Chassie and I. And, and uh, Lily wasn't born yet, but, but Caleb was small and, and Brooke and Scott Stower, who Coached here, I think, under Joe Foley. We were there together in Lane Burroughs and Andy Morgan, GT McCullough, those guys uh, still keep in contact with. Um, I have a lot of respect for Northwestern State, and a lot of great coaches have come through there, and uh, they do a great great job, and I know that Chris is going to keep uh, everything going. Um, I Dogfight, that's what uh, NSU prides themselves on. They have good players. Uh, those Louisiana, Texas guys are tough, and uh, we, we expect – for them to come in here and compete, um, have really good arms, and uh, give us really tough at bats. Maybe play a little bit of the short game sometimes when it's, when it's advantageous for them. But um, it, it'll be a very good series. Unfortunately, the rain's going to get us uh, tomorrow, and uh, it may stop and start a little bit. But then we have puddles in the outfield, and we don't want to put any guys uh, in harm's way on their team or ours. So we're going to go doubleheader at one o'clock on Sunday. So it should be sunshine. It'll be our first doubleheader of the year, so that'll be a great learning opportunity on how to handle that back-to-back -back games. Um, excited about Jackson Wells. Excited about Haas Brewer, and really excited about TK. You know, Thomas Kirkendall getting him in the lineup. We wanted to get a left-hander there at the back end of the uh, rotation and felt like he's deserved a shot. Uh, nothing wrong with Busick. We really like him. I think Busick uh, is, is a weekend rotation get the guy for us in the future. And if he works hard and keeps improving, he's got a shot at being a pro. But we want to take a look at the left-hander before we have two weeks till conference. We want to take a look at starting a left-hander. Busick will be valuable out of the bullpen with his velocity and his breaking ball. Um, but but uh, just a little shake up there at the back end and trying to find some consistency on offense. We're going to spend the next two days uh, really getting back to the fundamentals of who we are, what we believe, making sure that uh, we're, we're covering the basics and focusing on those little things uh, and get some of these guys back to who they're used to being. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Go Trojans.